I'm Bob Riggio. With me is Tim Rangich with uh, Acme uh, Bicycles. Uh, Tim, we're going to talk uh, Mickelson Trail and e-bikes. Sure. I love the Mickelson Trail. You know, if the folks out there, tourists coming to town, if they want to see the Black Hills, you're not going to see the Black Hills driving down 385 in your car. You need to get into the Black Hills, and I can't think of a better way to do that than riding on the Mickelson Trail. What I like about the Mickelson Trail, no motor vehicles are allowed on the Mickelson Trail. So the pace is, is slower and quiet. Yep. That's what I like about it. It's quiet. Let's talk e-bikes. When I would ride my normal bike, Tim, this is how I did it. I looked at the topographic map. I looked at the high point, the low point. Yep. Uh, put in at the high point, pull out at the low point. Yep. Gravity is your friend, but there is a third way of doing it, and that's with yeah. e-bikes. Yeah. So to just tell us a little bit about e-bikes and the, the advantages you would have if you do want to ride the Mickelson Trail. Yeah, yeah. Pedal assist e-bikes is what we're going to be talking about. That's a bike that does not have a throttle. The throttle electric bikes where you don't pedal or don't have to pedal are technically illegal on the trail. So the pedal assist e-bikes, what they basically do is add a little extra torque to your effort. On flat ground, you're not going to really notice a huge difference. But on hills, that added torque makes it so your average speed doesn't go down. The idea is that on an electric bike, you'll get the same workout. Say you've got two hours and you want to work out. You're a dedicated fitness type person. So in two hours on an e-bike, you'll simply go 40 to 50% further yeah. and get the same workout in the same time period. Which is another big advantage with an e-bike yeah. on the Mickelson. You can see more of the Black Hills. Yeah, very common shuttle is to be dropped off at Crazy Horse and ride down to Hill City. Yeah. Well, now with an e-bike, that same person that can do that ride could actually ride from Hill City to Crazy Horse or go all the way to Custer and back. You only need the one vehicle from where you started. How far, you are, on one battery charge, how far can you go on an e-bike? So it depends on the weight of the rider. Yeah. Headwinds can matter too, just like a vehicle. If you're running it on the highest assist setting, you'll get a little less, but you can expect 25 to 45 miles on a given e-bike. Definitely get out on your bike this summer and ride. It's already That's here. That's the other, the other great thing about an e-bike. You know, before yeah. people said, well, it's more difficult for me to ride a bike because I got all the hills. But with an e-bike, they're back on the bike. They're getting exercise once yeah, we, again. We've had people that basically hung up their riding career right you know at the age of 70 75 or whatever and they come try out an electric bike and boom they're back to riding again okay. all right yeah. tim thanks a lot for all your right. time thanks appreciate you, it all right